First John 5, verse 11 to 12. Assurance of Salvation. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. 1 John 5, 11-12 John 3.16 Redemptive Work of Christ For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 First John 1 John 1.9 Confession of Sins if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, nine. Ephesians 2, verses 8-9 to nine. Salvation by faith For it is by grace you have been saved through faith and that, not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, verses 8-9 to 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13 Victory over temptation You are tempted in the same way all other human beings are. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted any more than you can take. But when you are tempted, God will give you a way out so that you can stand up under it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 Fruit of the Spirit but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 Mark 1 verse 35 Jesus' devotional life. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up and went to a deserted place and prayed there. Mark 1, verse 35. Psalm 119, verse 9 and 11. God's Word. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I have hidden your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, verses 9 and 11. Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7. Prayer. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Then God's peace will watch over your hearts and your minds. He will do this because you belong to Christ Jesus. God's peace can never be completely understood. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. Ephesians 4 Verses 11 to 12. The Church. It was He who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers, to prepare God's people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up. Ephesians 4, verses 11 to 12. Hebrews 10 verse 25 
Christian fellowship. Let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us cheer each other up with words of hope. Let us do it all the more as you see the day coming when Christ will return. Hebrews 10 verse 25 Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 The Great Commission Then Jesus came to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And you can be sure that I am always with you. To the very end. Matthew 28 verse 18 to 20.